The visit to Russia is part of the UN chief's annual trips, but he says it comes at a crucial time. The world faces challenges like Japan's nuclear disaster, popular movements in the Middle East and North Africa, and the complex situation in Libya. The traumatic events uh, which we are seeing in Middle East and North Africa underscore the need for people everywhere in the world to live in uh, freedom with prosperity and to live with a dignity. The events in the Middle East and North Africa dominated Ban Ki-moon's talks with Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. We need to discuss the current situation in the world, and in particular hotspots, in the Middle East and Africa, and the settlements of the Korean nuclear program issue. Medvedev reiterated Russia's position on the Libyan conflict, calling for a diplomatic solution, not for an interference. The UN chief says he counts on Moscow's support to help resolve the global and regional crisis. I deeply appreciate once again Russia's broad support for the United Nations, its political backing, its resources, and most importantly, Russia's guidance and direction as we navigate the challenges ahead. Ban Ki-moon and Russia's foreign minister discussed how to put efforts to boost the economy and international security. Sergei Lavrov voiced Moscow's support for stronger UN role in global affairs and stressed its mandates have to be followed. We discussed in detail the need to comply strictly with UN mandates, especially issues around the use of force and the need to formulate these mandates more clearly. Earlier, the Kremlin said it had questions regarding attempts by some countries to act beyond the limits of international mandates and expressed concern over the excessive use of force in Libya. The military operation has had little success, say observers. Gaddafi forces continue attacks on revolutionaries after five weeks of Allied airstrikes. We uh, truly should think uh, twice before taking any further action. I mean, uh, any. Uh, future, uh, probably future, uh, ground operations against uh, Libyan forces. And I think that uh, the situation in Libyan crisis would be more and more prolonged uh, with the time. And it's not easy uh, to uh, remove uh, Muammar Gaddafi from power in Libya. This is not Egypt. The Moscow meetings also touched on sea piracy, anti-terror efforts, the Middle East talks and nuclear safety. Dmitry Medvedev and Ban Ki-moon have called for higher standards of nuclear safety and for Middle East talks to be held in Moscow. They are convinced the Middle East Quartet should step up its efforts to put an end to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Svetlana Khamirova, Press TV, Moscow.